Turbo Camry, part, is it like 19 or 20 or something? All right, CV joints, problem. So what we're gonna find here, um, you can see I've got a whole bunch of different CV joints on the floor here. Um, the Celica or Caldina one doesn't actually fit on uh, the front. That's the Camry one. You'll actually notice it's slightly different in the way that the CV joint style is. It's also longer on the Camry as well. And the main problem, the splines don't fit if you use the Camry shaft. So basically, I'm gonna have to make some sort of hybrid shaft. These ones down on the ground here are from a Caldena. We're trying to make that shaft uh, spline on the end essentially. So, I got it made. That's a uh, Camry shaft with a Celica or Caldena spline cut onto the end of it. I got it done at machine shop, came up pretty nice. What you're gonna see here is that the uh, if you look closely, you'll see the right-hand side is the Camry one, which has a much fatter outer spine, and it's slightly longer as well. The Celica uh, left-hand side uh, shaft is shorter than a Camry one. So, again, what you can see here is um, you've got a Camry end on one side, and you've got a Celica end on the other side. Shafts go back into the car, and then after that, you can see, well, that's the left hand and that's the right hand side. And then we're going to torque up that main hub nut. Uh, kind of almost bust my foo foo valve on this one. <laughs> Needed a uh, bit of a leverage extra, 300 Newton meters apparently. Um, yeah, pretty pretty tough. All right, so um, I've also made the exhaust as well. I didn't actually record any of it as I was making it because it was that kind of be a bit boring, but. Um, you can see here, here's the downpipe exhaust, and I've got uh, the wastegate as well, which is plumbed back. It's all made out of 304 stainless steel, and there's the wastegate itself. The wastegate merges back into the dump pipe underneath before it goes into a flexi, and then off underneath the rest of the car. Only the front stuff is made in stainless, all the rest is made in mild steel. Here's the exhaust pipe and the drive shaft. Would have been good to get it a little bit higher, but it was quite tricky in regards to where the brackets for the axle for the drive shaft was. Here's the muffler, and here is the uh, fake exhaust tips. The hangers for the exhaust. And here's just a kind of overview of the rear end of the, of the car with the, with the drive shaft stiff and exhaust and whatnot. It's almost done. I'm just waiting for one last part off eBay and then we should be able to take it for a drive. Bye.